here's a good point to make any changes. If you want it wider, if you want it landscape instead of portrait, um, if you want to make some cuts on those side panels or round off the corners, um, you can increase or decrease the tilt and it should all update based on any changes you make to the phone size. So if you change that tilt, everything should kind of just flow. We've done this right. You could add a hole to the ledge to fit a gardening table if you wanted. Um, you could make a cutout in here if you wanted. We are not going to get into engraving, but cuts you could absolutely apply. We're going to add a new custom feature. Again, you need to use the link from the slides. Right, so we're going to open up this custom feature, and this is auto layout. So auto layout, we're going to add a custom feature. And again, you want it to be blue. Mine is blue because I've already added it. Right. So when it's white, click on auto layout, and it'll add that to your toolbar. What this auto layout tool is going to do is it's going to take our assembled part and lay it out into a flat arrangement. All right, so auto layout should be from your custom feature dropdown. Again, try search tools if you're having a difficult time finding that. Auto layout. The thickness of the material, this is going to look for anything that is a uniform thickness. So we're going to say the thickness, right? That's what we're looking for. Our sheet width is 12 or 15 inches. And our sheet height is 12 inches. That's the size of the material that you're going to have to work from. And our spacing, we'll say, is 0.1. We want to give it a little bit of a space between all of the parts here. Um, this is not my favorite layout, but it's fine. Okay. So it's showing the space material and uh, what it's fitting in. I don't need to see that. But I can, it's not bad to verify that everything's gonna fit. Okay. So this is gonna be really helpful for us to create our PDF. But if I wanted to show someone my phone light holder, this isn't all that impressive. Okay. So what we can do is we can suppress this part and that brings us back to our phone layout, but that removes our flat orientation, right? So I wanna be able to get that back. We're gonna add a configuration that allows us to toggle between these two different modes. Configurations live on the far right side and we have a configuration panel. So from the configuration panel, right, on the far right side, we're going to configure our part studio with a checkbox. There's lots of great opportunities here in configurations we'll get into later in the class, uh, but for now we're gonna go to check. The name, I like to call it build. And so we've got this checkbox right here, but right now this build doesn't do anything. There's, it's not tied to anything. We could turn it on and off, but nothing's happening. Okay. So we have to assign different things to these values. So there's a value with it selected and a value with it not, and we need to assign what those drive. So we're gonna add a configured feature and there are several ways to do this. We'll just go through this simple addition. And that's by selecting on the auto layout. When we select auto layout, we could, all of these things could go into some configurations, but the fact that it is suppressed or unsuppressed is the key piece here. So selecting at the bottom of the auto layout unsuppressed adds it to our build. So unsuppressed means that it is there. Without this checkbox, that means it 
is suppressed. And so it's not there. So for a build, for a built phone layout, phone holder, we want to hide the auto layout. For an unbuilt phone holder, we want the auto layout. So unsuppressed means that it is, that this feature, this auto layout feature is there. When you uncheck that box, it means it is not there, okay? So a yes build means a no auto layout. A no build means a yes auto layout. Okay, you know, this is a, we've done a lot of great work here. I'm gonna add a version. Okay, so this version one, um, this is um, part built, right? All of my parts are built. The phone holder is done. The layout's done. I'm done in my part studio. So this is, we've done a lot of work to get here. In order to create a drawing, I can create a drawing from an individual part. And that would let me cut out that one part, but it doesn't give me great utilization of this auto layout. So I'm gonna take advantage of the assembly. You should have an assembly at the bottom. And we're gonna do a very simple assembly. I'm gonna insert the entire part studio, but I don't want it built. I want it unbuilt. I want it in the auto layout orientation. So click on the part studio to bring everything in. Click on the green check mark to add it right where it is. Don't touch the window. And I'll delete this part. I don't need the phone for my PDF. So using the unbuilt assembly, everything comes in. And now with the assembly nice and flat, right click, create a drawing. So from the drawing, you want to go to uh, your team. And I will make sure that this, this template is available in your team. And you should have a drawing called EDT laser half sheet. Okay. So this is a template that sets up the paper, the right size for the material we have. It doesn't have any title blocks or anything like that. Okay. So you don't wanna use any views, just no views, half sheet, okay. It's gonna bring in this 12 by 15 sheet of paper. It thinks we're trying to add the front view of our assembly. So we do want to work from the assembly, but we don't want the front view. We want the top view. And very important when we're preparing for laser cutting, the view scale is going to need to be a one-to-one -one ratio. All right. So there is my view. It's trying to add a projection view, which I don't want. I'll hit escape. And we're good. To finish this up, we can right click, export. We're gonna export it as a PDF. I would change this file name, right? This should be um, phone holder with your username. And there's several options to export the PDF. You can download it. Um, you can save it in a new tab. Or you can do both. You can download and store in a new tab. And it's working on that. Here's my PDF. And this is what we'll take to the construct to have the objects laser cut. I do want to demonstrate for you how important these variables are and how critical they build into this design. So if I said, you know what? I think I want landscape mode. I wanna watch YouTube videos. So now I'm gonna make my width six. 
and my height three. And notice how the side plate here stayed. Uh, let's see how my phone looks. Uh, that's looking pretty close to the back. I might want to go into that back and ledge, edit that sketch, and make this backside stick up a little bit higher. <clears throat> but because of how we created this, right, everything's going to keep working. If I go back into the assembly, the assembly is still there. The auto layout is updated. If I go into the drawing, I do need to re update the workspace. But there's the updated drawing. Um, just double checking that it's still a one to one, which is really important. Um, looks like I want to change some of my tabs um, in this scenario. But other than that, this is looking great. Yeah, we've got some interesting geometry happening here. So a few things to kind of take a look at, but really all in all, a very powerful model with the ability to cre create the PDF we need for laser cutting.